you'd like to receive a wrist-powered device through the eNable network, and the eNable matching service has asked you to provide client photos. Whichever design you choose, you'll need to provide clear, accurate photos if you want the device to fit properly. Let's have a quick look at the process. First, we ask you to send us some photos so that we can take measurements. Next, we import your images into a program like Blender or Organmass to calculate the best size and shape for the device to be printed. We may even make changes to a design to accommodate a client's unique anatomy. Once the design fits the client photos, the data is loaded into a 3D printer, which then works for about one day to print your device. After 10 to 20 hours of printing, the device is assembled and adjusted by a volunteer before being sent to the client. A volunteer can expect to spend between 6 and 20 hours of labor to make one device for one client. Unfortunately, clients sometimes receive devices that do not fit, and this is often the result of photos that were not properly taken. An error of 2 or 3 millimeters can make the difference between a good fitting device and a bad fitting device. When taking photos, please follow these instructions. 1. Use the best digital camera available to you. 2. Select the camera's highest resolution. 3. Shoot outdoors during a bright time of day. 4. Hang a ruler from the wall. 5. The center of the ruler should be at the height of the client's nose when standing. 5. The camera must be at the same height as the client's wrists and directly facing the wall. Six, shoot photos from about six feet or two meters away. We will need four photos from you. Photo 1. The client kneels facing a wall. Hands and arms are extended vertically and laid flat against the wall. The ruler should be between the client's wrists. The ruler and the arms of the client are parallel with the edge of the photo. Photo 2. The client stands and holds the affected hand horizontally against the wall, facing the camera. The wrist should be flat and level, and pressing against the ruler. Photo 3. The same as photo 2, but with the wrist flexed as far as possible. Photo 4. The same as photo 2, but with the wrist extended as far as possible. Take several photos in each position and experiment with different camera settings to get the clearest, sharpest images. At full size, the ruler marks should be sharp and very easy to read. If you can't read the ruler in your photos, go back outside and try again, and consider trying to find a better camera. Once you have selected one very good photo of each type, send them to the eNable matching team. Good luck and thanks for watching.